This is code.org. Let's see what we got here. If I hit run, by the way, notice nothing actually happens, even though we have code here. Let's see. Reordering code. Placing code inside a function makes it easier to read and make changes. 100% true. Good names for functions indicate what your program is go doing to a reader. You can call your function in a different order to quickly make significant changes to how a program runs. This program has already created four functions that draw parts of a scene. Unfortunately, it's not coming out right. Read the four functions to know what they do. Call the functions. Okay, keep in mind, calling a function is just saying its name. So we've created these functions. And like I've said before, I think of it as a box of code. We have this green box of code. Yes, the draw loop, by the way, is a function. Uh, we have this green box of code and we place this code inside of it. The computer, when I hit run, it sees this block, block of code, this box of code, and it says, cool, we got some code there. It does absolutely nothing. We have to ask it to run. And I've said this before, but it's like if you uh, need your sibling to do something, right? You're going to have your sibling draw a green background on a rectangle. Okay. Or draw a green rectangle. Okay, that's great. You cannot have them do that without calling to them, right? You need them. You have to ask them to come over to do this. So we've created this, right? Your sibling exists. They're sitting in the corner. It doesn't matter. Our code exists. It's sitting here in this box. It doesn't matter. We need to ask it to run. So to do that, I'm going to click functions and just drag out our function. I just want to kind of make sure I'm clear here that this is separate. This space doesn't matter. You don't need it. And I'm going to first do draw background because, well, that would make sense to me. And I'm going to test it. Okay, so we do have a background now. Awesome. So now I have asked this code to run and it runs in order. Now next up, here's a draw trees function. Wow, they have a lot of code in there. I don't want to waste that. So same deal. I need to use its name to call it. And I can place all my function calls up here. And that's often the case. You would place function calls up here or at the bottom or even in the main function. But regardless, usually you'd place them together and not just right above each function. It just makes it easier to read. The nice thing too, guys, about functions is you want to have clear names. If I just stared at this code of all these rectangles, I wouldn't know what it is. But, oh wait, this person named this block of code draw trees. I bet it draws stuff that looks like trees. Boom, and it does. Okay, and now it also code runs in order. So if I pull the draw trees call up here, boom, my trees are gone because the background's painted over them. All right, let me keep scrolling down here. Oh, draw clouds. So I want that code to run. Drop it here. So far, so good. And then I think we have, yep, draw a fence. And again, I can you imagine trying to figure out what all this code is? I can't. And that's what's really nice about functions. It separates it out. I know right away, oh, this probably is going to draw something that looks like a fence. So I'm going to drag this out. Keep in mind, capitalization matters, right? If I do this, draw a fence without a capital, it has no idea what that is. It has to be exactly as they wrote it. And how they wrote it was like this. And that's called camel case, where you capitalize new letters, uh, new new words, but not the verse. It's common in programming. Cool. All right. Call the four functions. Oh, we can pick the order. Oh, should the fence be in front of the trees? Wait a minute. I want the fence behind the trees. Eh, I want the fence in front of the trees. I want the clouds behind the trees. And see how we can just move blocks of code around like this? Instead of having, otherwise, we'd have to grab all that code and move it up and down the screen. Boom. Ah, it's beautiful. Onward.